supposed to be in my bag today. But I will go to the bank later. It's so nice right now. Mm -hmm. It's cool. There's like a little bit of breeze. It's really dark. It's not even 7 o'clock, right? What time no. is it? Like 6.50? 6.40. Look how really dark it is out here. About an hour ago, <laughs> Nia was still trying to sleep here. <laughs> and I just announced to her, I'm like, I'm going to listen to the entire Lamb Lies Down on Broadway album. And she's like, all right. <laughs> Why do I always uh, announce things like that to you? I, I have to narrate everything I'm doing to you at all times, and you don't, you don't need that in your life, really. So, uh, say hello. Hello. <laughs> I have my show. Well, there's uh, walking to work is always a very, uh, a very serious thing. Why? Oh. You know, that's a good idea. We could really use the money. Let's do it. Oh, sorry, dear. I don't have any today. Have a good day. <clears throat> We're usually not that nice to people. We just wanted to come across as, as good good people. No, I'm not nice to her all the time. But she asks every day. So, yeah, OnlyFans, uh, it seems like every girl has one. No, but then mine would be like different <clears throat> Oh, I see. You're going to do a pun. Yeah, it's a pun. I get it. Only fans. I get it. I know I get it. <laughs> Only fans. <clears throat> Only fans. It's just fans. Different fans. An oscillator. And then I see you. You'll be my fan, too. It's kind of sad, though, like, um, how many girls have to do that now because there's just no, you know, a lot of the opportunities to have jobs and stuff just aren't there anymore, you know? Um, but, hey, at least it's a way for them to make money. It's down. <coughs> oh my god, this long COVID. Why am I like this still? I've been coughing like this for a month. Oh <coughs> god. These keeps people away from me because they're like, there's something wrong with your guy. Usually when, when the smoking doesn't keep people away. <coughs> they said age 18 to 40 has respiratory. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to put one, I'm going to show one here right now. Um, that we just saw kids, uh, all the problems, the rise in um, heart problems that kids are having, and deaths, child deaths. Um, it's sad, man. <coughs> it's sad because, uh, you know. This is from COVID. Yeah, yeah. Of course they do. What are they going to say? What are they going to say? It's like, you ha I have to, like, compartmentalize that kind of thing. I think a lot of people that do understand what's happening, you have to kind of pretend it's not happening. Because what you're seeing, right, is, um, and, and theologians talk about this, too, about the time when Satan's sway would be over everyone. They worship the beast. And they would give up their children as sacrifice. And used to hear that and be like, what kind of crazy world would that be? Like you're visioning these uh, sacrificial temples and stuff. And it's like, no, no, you're seeing it right now. People that are under sway of the beast, they worship the beast. They worship the culture, the science, the leaders. And they're giving up their kids uh, for sacrifice to virtue signal to the beast that they're, you know, they're his. We're watching it happen. Um, it's not what I, you know, envisioned or probably what anybody envisioned. It's fucking horrifying, man. Can we not talk about that? Yes. How are you doing, Neil? What's up with Good you? Good morning. <clears throat> you excited yes. for work today? Yes. Is it going to be the one? Yes. Oh, today's TGIF. Yeah, we uh, do a TGIF the day before her day off, no matter what time of the week it is. So if her day off is uh, Tuesday... And Monday, I uh, know, but I'm saying the day before is always oh, TGI. Yes. Depend, even if it's not Friday. <clears throat> so today is TGI. Yes. Good. And we celebrate it. Well, oh, how are we going to celebrate tonight on your night off? By doing nothing. nothing. The best times 
I mean, we both used to be crazy party people in our youth, and even as we got older, I mean, I, I partied way too long. But now, like, the best time we can have is sitting in the house, watching videos, yeah, I mean, s separately. Yes. We, ha we barely talk, but it's awesome. We still touch each other. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll snuggle, hug, and stuff like that. But the, um, there's not a lot of communication, and we just eat uh, and uh, have coffee. Yeah, and that's it. It's awesome. Like, the last night, the last you got at before your day out, that was so fun. I, I kept telling you that, too. This is great. And we're, like, not doing anything. We're just, like, going in. Yeah. A lot of times it feels like... Sleepover. Like, I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. You re you pulled that out of my it's mind. What's time. going on here with this bun? Did I not push that button? Is that what happened the whole time? Because we've been standing here a minute, and it's way too long. yeah, I didn't push the button. I'm I'm the idiot. Go over there and Let's just well, yeah, whatever. Let's walk this way. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I'm gonna go behind you. Yeah, All right, well, you go behind me then. Yeah, these I might have to get new uh, slippers too. These ones are going. I didn't realize it. Oh, remember that day that you were talking about how your treads running out? Yeah. I went in, I think I told you this, I went into lawns after that and completely fell on my ass. If I was like a, a different type of person, uh, yeah, I would've got some money out of that one. didn't do anything to show you that. Because the first floor had signs out that said wet floor, but they didn't have them upstairs. But it was clear they just did it. And I, I, I did like a, an Olympic type fucking fall. You could have got a yeah. Oh yeah, big time. Like young. But here's here's the deal though. I would never do that. I would never ever do that. I was in a head on collision and I walked away with ten grand. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you know what I could have got for that? <clears throat> I got bleeding on the brain, yeah. It was for the like the tenth time in my life. It's the karma. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't, I don't, it, my heart is in it, and my lawyer at the time, my, that my dad hooked me up with, was like, you have to start being more proactive about this, it, you know, you have to show that you want it, I mean, and I'm like, ah, he's like, you have to keep going to the doctor, but I already went, no, you have to keep going back and complaining, <clears throat> I just couldn't do it, you know, I was glad to be relatively unharmed, except for the, that's a normal human, when I'm in the hospital through that town, they hand you this brochure with these like squiggly people on it that look like a cartoon and say, you and your brain injury. And it's like this little guy sitting on a bed. <laughs> yeah, I had blood on, uh, bleeding on the brain, but I had that before. Remember I was dropped on my head as a kid? Yeah. My mom, she wants to tell you that story, right? No, she was uh, a perfect mom. What's that? She was a perfect mom. Oh, no, she was, uh, have, she was talking to my dad on the phone, had me wrapped up in a blanket. And when she turned, I popped out the top of the blanket, landed on my head. <clears throat> my eyes rolled back in my head. Uh, oh my so uh, she starts freaking out. And my dad's telling her, this is 70s, right? right? So my dad's telling her to call the, call the ambulance, but she's too freaked out to do it. <laughs> and um, so he had to hang up. Yeah. And um, I don't know what happened there. I think, you know, here's the weird thing. I had that happen. I had a lot of crazy medical injuries like I fell out of their bed I still have a scar from it I ate that razor blade at my uncle's house like all these crazy things I did I don't remember going to the hospital for any of this shit <laughs> what's that about 70s yeah it's the 70s I just they smoke in front of you yeah I think kids were maybe they just figured kids were tougher back then but yeah, so she dropped me on my head, but then like my he eyes rolled the back of my head and she said I didn't do anything. She's freaking out and then all of a sudden I just started moving and talking. Oh my god. Um so I don't know. Yeah, it was weird. But that was the first time. Didn't you have like a concussion or something like that? Didn't you hurt your head a couple times or something? I'm sure I did. Yeah, you had you had a couple things yes. like that. I'm not normal, so I'm sure I did. Right. Well none of us are. Yeah. But I believe people who like really have bad accidents. And they get really angry. All the murder trials. Oh like, yeah, head injuries. Head injuries, yes. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. It changes you. Uh, From a low, maybe. Depends where you hurt. Depends, yeah. Where you 
Remember, like, um, Courtney's friend's husband? He had that accident at work, and then he was just a different guy. You know, he's just like, hey, how you doing? Like, yeah. just that sort of one note. That's really weird how that happens. When's Chinese New Year? That looks cool. It's finished. Oh, it already happened? Yeah, 22nd. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, it happened a week ago. Yeah, year of the rapids. Okay. Oh, good. For once, it's like a cute animal. Usually, it's like, you're the pig, you're oh, the yeah. rat, you're the fucking scumbag. It's like, do they have any nice animals in fucking China? Yeah. Well, they're probably eating them all. They eat the nice ones. <clears throat> all the cuddly looking ones. Oh, it's adorable. Cook it. It is, it is darker out here. Yeah. It's January, though. This is probably the darkest it's going to get at this time. Usually, like... I know. Oh, look at the sky, man. That looks cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never really get a shot of stuff because I'm always moving kind of quickly. Because, you know, I have to keep moving down here. Um, that's cool. All right, time to go. I got it. <clears throat> So you're getting out regular time today? Yes. Cool. And we're going to have a great night. Mia wanted me, Mia was asking me the other day, she's like, have you ever seen that new Blade Runner? And I'm like, yeah, it was great. I mean, it's it's not really new. It came out like, I, I didn't know when it came out. I knew it was recently, but I looked at 2017. Oh, uh, was it that long? Yeah. So I'm, so I'm telling her, I'm like, yeah, I was well, telling you, you're here, I don't have to act like you're not here. I, I was telling you, yeah, let's watch that, that was great, that was great. And then I, I watched a documentary about it, and I remembered how fucking depressing it was. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to watch this fucking thing. It's a great movie, but, um, yeah, it's, it's just it's depressing, you know. It's one of those things that you see once. Like, it's a good movie. And watch it. I mean, I'm sure there are some people out there that could watch it, you know, more than once. But for me, for me, no. I said, don't worry, darling. That was good. Very suspense. What was that? Don't worry, darling. <clears throat> was, who was in that? That guy from Star Trek. Oh, you tell me. I think you told me about this, right? Oh, okay. I cannot watch movies anymore, though. The last one I watched was the Batman one, just out of obligation. But it's just like I have to tap out after like 20 minutes because I see all the shit, all the symbolism just pops up. It's like, oh, you know, his clock is at fucking nine. Of course, it cost them thirty-three dollars. <laughs> Not even gematria, but all the. Once you know what to look for and you start to understand symbolism or even understand it a little bit, uh, this shit just fucking jumps out at you and it makes things impossible to enjoy. And then you think about the actors and it's like, well, I wonder how many kids in cages that guy has at his house, you know, and you just like, it bums you out. You can't, it's hard to, you can't go back. You can't, you can't go back, you know. They had the sandbags out here the other day. They always put sandbags out when it rains. I don't think they've ever used them. Well, no, they've used them before. We, we've had flooding in here, in this thing before. A couple times we had flooding. I love this area back here. Why is it so fucking dark though? Dude, I was, dude, sorry, sorry honey. I was the other night, I was saying that too. I was down here the other night, it was a week ago. Um, around 11 o'clock, they shut all the lights out. They never used to be like that. Like, that's pitch dark. There's not a light on over there. Something happened with the light bulb or something. Every light over there? <laughs> that whole thing is out, Bob. That's weird. Yeah, no, the lights all on Kalakaua, a lot of the stores shut their lights off. It's almost like if you were trying to create an atmosphere 
Oh, I never I put up the video because they ended up having problems with, about how I was filming the, the tourists on that little box and all the other dudes waiting around it for them to come out. <laughs> there was this place that was it's like 11 something at night. And there was just like a, one cafe that's open on Kalakaua. Um, uh, do you, what's the name of that place? Here. Yeah, yeah. And it's like everything else is closed and they're doing that new turn out all the light shit. So it's kind of sketchy over there. And there's no one around. All the lights are out. The only place open is this one place. They have picnic tables out there for people to sit and have coffee and shit like that. And but they're in enclosed in this little thing with all like uh, like little trees around it. So you walk by there and you look in the little enclosure and it's all visibly tourists. You know, you can tell by, you know, how they look, certain ways kind of tourists look. And then outside the area, like not uh, in the, as a, a, a patron or a customer, are all these other dudes, like these shady looking dudes just kind of waiting around the enclosure for them to come out. <laughs> to whatever, ask them for money or, you know, low-key rob. Uh, it was fucking funny. It was like they're all standing around the fish in the barrel. I'm like, these poor people better have a, a quick walk to the fucking hotel. That kind of shit never used to happen, though. It never used to be like that before. You never had those kind of shady situations here. You know, the 42% crime increase is a fucking thing, man. As I've been reporting on it uh, diligently. Actually, I haven't done one of those in a while. I have to, I have to check in and see what the uh, crime statistics are like now. Since they did that last uh, statistical thing, they, had, they haven't uh, made any adjustments to it as far as I... But I'm sure it's still going up. All right, we're almost at your work, huh? I'm going to sign up. I'll be back later. Say bye, Nina. Bye. Have a good day. Don't blame the teacher. Blame the school. <laughs>